This might be a Tegon situation. I feel like the rest of the heroes are Garbo. Tegon is pretty Garbo too, but at least we have Undead. We can do some plays. Game's on. Soup's on. Meals on the way. I like Thorn Cap then. Why would I hero power it? To waste two seconds of my life? Hey idea, I got a creation from Pewter Side while playing Beaglesworth and it just turned into a plain copy of one of his minions. Okay. So isn't that a bug? Um it is. You should report it to Blizzard if you have the time. I thought the kitchen was on fire, but it was just you. Guys, I don't want to heal power for no reason. Stop trolling, please. One battle done. Now get on your apron and cook up a strategy. Do you know what holiday it is today in the US? I have no clue. Please tell me. President's Day? Is that the President's birthday or do you have a day where that's called President's Day? The second one. Interesting. I mean, you guys really celebrate your president. In Romania, probably half the population doesn't even know his name. I'm kidding. Or am I? Maybe I'm not kidding. A Tecno Knight is really good. Should I roll and then trade my Sally to look for another Eternal Knight? Or is that too much? Let's do it. Yes! That's it. Keep going. You're doing great. This looks great. Also, Corpse Refiner is really nice here. Corpse Refiner also works with my hero power. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I cannot get double uh, stack on it either way. Wouldn't it be better to hero power the town? If you hero power the town, you get one extra minion and you could get a double stack on Corpse Refiner. But if you heal power this, you get plus one, plus one permanently on the knight. And knight is kind of like the best way to play this hero anyways. The chance that extra gold is worth it, but I don't know if it's that high of a chance. It's two extra minions with the taunt. Now it's only one extra. So like visualize what happens when you heal power this. It kills it, so you get the two one, okay? And then you get this back. So you basically just get the two one extra. That's it. What you want to switch with this hero later to is Eternal Summoner. Eternal Summoner is the best card to hero power on him. It's a bit awkward with the board space. Often enough. Fuck, Gatewing had a start. I hate when I take 15 damage on turn 5. Really bad. Fucking high roller. Well, how did it go? I'll do what I can. I figured your palette was more refined. Here's your goal. Hmm.
I'm going to four, but the question is if I sell my droplet or if I sell my thorn captain. I kind of want to sell my thorn captain to keep the chances up for getting a triple. But it's a risky way to do it. Yeah, you have to. It's risky, but I think you have to do it. Eudora just finished digging, I think. Oh my god, I'm gonna take maybe more damage. This is dangerous, guys. We are entering a sloppy territory. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared, guys. Oh, and just don't forget to add some. He got Light Fang. Still probably gonna lose. Man, I couldn't kill Light Fang and I take more than 10. Fuck, I have to stay on Tavern 4 now. This is like a really bad start. I took way too much cheap damage early. Atramidis early is pretty powerful. I like this, because this way my Atramidis is going to be huge. I mean, a play would be this as well, to buff the Atramidis a bit more. Because Jelly Belly, I don't really care about it. Yeah, Jelly Belly is my next kick. Unless I can triple the Rider. Good luck out there, sous chef. Wow, Zyrella is so weak, we might even get the kill here. She's so fucking weak. And just don't forget to add some. Okay, that maze is super good. Yeah, the rider is so annoying. Holy shit. The boiling rider was definitely the play. Staying above damage cap is huge. I like Atramidis against Undead. Oh, we hit! We fucking hit! I'll do what I can. Go on, buy a minion. The 
So if I heal power it, it just gives me the knight, right? Instantly. And then I reborn it when I have space. But I need one more space, right? To also give the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need one board space. You need one board space. Yeah, yeah, you need one board space because you need to get the other knight and the knight. You need space for knight and for summoner. And now you get another summoner. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need one extra board space. You need to play six minions with this. Yeah, some people in chat are saying that you don't need extra board space. But you need extra board space. Swords? I tried it, you could see. Yeah, now you need Baron Riven there and you're winning the game. Or Titans Riven there, whatever. I don't think I need to go to 6, right? I feel like it's a risk to go to 6 when you can just roll on 5. We found Titus. I like Titus and I also like 2nd Chronormal. Can somebody calculate how much board space I need? So, you kill this and it gives me like two knights and one. I need I need to play five minions, right? Five minions. Should I just play one big chronormal? I feel like I won't have space to play. I won't have space for two Chronormus. I like second Dozy Whelp, just, just to have Towns. And I'll put it first. Actually, against Quilbar, I want to open on Chronormu. This looks funny. This looks so funny, holy shit. Imagine playing this and winning. Imagine. Imagine playing this and not winning. Dude. What 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 what's going through your mind if you're hooked us now? And you just I think you're happy that you're not dead, I guess. Right? I I would be happy to not be dead. I wanna go to six and look for another summoner. Do I need Leech Doctor? No, nah, I think it's a bad buy. Sister is also a bad buy. This guy is gonna have a ton of a, a metric ton of divine shields. I think it's fine to put this guy first. You're gonna open with the knights, or do we want to open on the on this to make some board space? Maybe you want to make some board space. Why is sister bad? Because she does nothing. She's gonna buff one minion by plus one plus two or something. I can go for Eternal Knight and taunt it, yeah. Chat is actually right. Taunted Eternal Knight is better than Rider and is better than Wolp. Maybe opening on Dragon is not that bad. Because you want the taunts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, opening on Dragon is okay. You're in first place. Mm, savor it. We should be fine. I think our knights are getting so big. That we should be fine. I don't get why the reborn one summons before the non-reborn one. That's sucky. 
Shouldn't the reborn one summon after? Or it depends on positioning. But yeah, it feels so much better to play the Eternal Summoner with Titus than without. So much better. Dude, everybody's on one health against me. The whole lobby is so lucky to not die to me. I'm the lobby bully. How about Nadina? Nah, I guess we just look for something better. One more roll. Another knight. Also, soul split tag is good. I think we just buy the knight. I don't think we want soul split there. I like towns because they protect my Titus. People can get zapped for my Titus. I need Uther for it. I need Uther for it and I'm super safe. I feel like we shouldn't underestimate this lobby. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody went super crazy on Elementals and can beat me. But I think it's a pretty cool tactic. Like, when I was offered this hero, I didn't think it's gonna go like this. And now I'm pretty happy with how the games went. Number one, huh? Nice work. Blocking the wildfire was massive. Seems like we're strong enough. Eudora Dragons. If you ask me, that was well done. <laughs> Soul Splitter can be born the summoner. Wait, it can? Actually, it can because Hero Power activates first. Sure, let's buy it then. Go on, buy a minion. Ride or die. I'm not sure if it can be born it because the minion already has reborn. But it might work! It says, give a friendly undead reborn. This is an undead. Chat says it doesn't work like that. Oh, my rose. Well, thank you for the expertise, Chad, but I think it might work just like that. I mean, we can visualize it together if you want. Fight starts. Hero power activates first. Kills my eternal summoner. Summons one more eternal summoner and two eternal knights. Soul splitter activates afterwards. I have four targets, three Eternal Knights and the Eternal Summoner. So that's where it might weave. Number one, huh? Nice work. Let's see how it goes. I think I have a one in four. We hit on the town. It's fine. We are still big. Now we summon the other guy. This is fine, looking sexy. Ah, we don't get the summoner full value. I don't think we need the summoner full value to take this lobby home though. And that's it. We won with Teron. Teron Undead is pretty good.